So the question is, what's the purpose of a minimum viable product? It turns out that the answer is pretty specific. You want to test the ability of some portion of your product to meet minimum customer needs. And that might change over time. That is, the MVP uh, slowly grows as your confidence in who the customer archetype is. Uh, it's not how to get as much revenue as you can as early as you can. You might decide that's a strategy, but that's kind of counter in learning from an MVP. You typically only uh, make this choice when you actually feel pretty certain that you understand product market fit. And while we certainly want to identify bugs in a product, hopefully if we've been using an agile methodology, we've kind of squashed most of them before they've gone out the door. Explicitly, the goal of an MVP is not an engineering alpha or beta test. The goal is not to use this process to find all the bugs, though they might come up. The goal of an MVP is to actually test the ability of the product to meet minimal customer needs as in choice one.